Hey guys, Delightful Dave here, reaching out to you again from one of my many YouTube rooms in the house here. So, this video is going to be a little bit more particular, right? Because today we're going to teach how to invest with little to no money. So, or let's say you've got $100 and you're going, what am I going to do with it? Well, we're going to break that down step by step on this video here and show you how to get the most out of that $100, specifically in real estate. Alright, so today we're going to learn how to invest, starting with, just the sake of easy numbers, $100. Let's say you're looking at God, uh, 20 years old, I can really start thinking about the future, and that's the smartest move you can make at 20 years old. Man, I wish I was making those kinds of decisions at 20 years old, or 21, or 22, I'm 26, and still not getting everything right here, right? But take a hundred dollars, just burning a hole in your back pocket. Now you can either go somewhere and get a brand new toy, go to Best Buy or something along those lines, or you can start investing. And the way that I like to look at investing as more of a way that my dollars start working for me and not me working for my money, if that makes sense. I want my, any money that I make, I want it to be making in money. Right, so um, there's another YouTuber that I'm going to link down in the comments here. I like the way that he said it here. Uh, he goes that he likes his money to be, you know, kind of like, he looks, like, looks at it like the little soldiers, right? And those little soldiers recruit other little soldiers and tell you about so many soldiers that you don't need any more soldiers anymore and you can just live off those soldiers for forever. So I paraphrase what he said, but I like it. So, but at, at the end of the day, when you're, you know, getting up there to like your 40s, 50s, 60s, you know, you, you really, you really start to panic when you kind of look at and go, you know, ah, what am I going to do in the future, right? I've got no money, you know, I'm living paycheck to paycheck, I don't have anything put away, what am I going to do? And what a lot of people do is they immediately go and buy a house. And that's a whole other video we'll talk about and all the reasons that's a terrible idea, right? But in this case here, you're brand new to investing, you've got $100 to work with great. I can help you with that. So the big thing when it comes to starting off with a little bit of money is most investment firms won't take you, which is fine because they're full of thousands of dollars in fees when it's all said and done. So, uh, but one of the, one of the applications we're really going to talk about here today is a brand new application called Landa, right? Which is uh, invest in individual properties that you make money on both the equity and the rent doing some things like leveraging the properties using mortgages all that good stuff but we're going to go pretty in depth here today to kind of show you exactly what you can do to start earning money right if i told you for every four and a half dollars you give me i'm going to give you three cents back every single month for forever would you take that if you say no, you wouldn't take that. You might not want to watch the rest of this video because we're going to be talking about something called compound interest a lot and how that is the biggest thing when it comes to investing. It's not picking a hot stock like Netflix that, you know, goes up 10,000% and you make millions, right? Because nobody's putting thousands of dollars into a stock that may or may not make it at the beginning. It just doesn't happen typically unless you're a hot shot investor. And let me tell you this, you're not going to beat the people that uh, sit in the fancy suits and they don't even beat the market. Nobody beats the market. There's only a few people, so which we'll talk about in other videos that actually beat the market. But uh, we're going to get into it a little bit. I'm going to show you a little bit of the Landa app, kind of walk you through how that works and you know little things that you can do to start investing and reinvesting what you make every single month. But we're start off like you only have $100. All right, so if you haven't downloaded the Land application yet, there's a link down in this description here. I want you to go ahead and download that application, right? You don't have to deposit any money or anything like that at this point. I just kind of want it to be a step-by-step -step tutorial here on exactly the kinds of properties that I'd want you to be interested in and the kinds of properties that you may want to stay away from. So go ahead and go down to the link in the description here. So and apparently I might have like an eyelash or an eyebrow or, or something. Just seems just gonna keep beating my face up. So um, so but if you haven't yet downloaded that app 
uh, down in the description. It's called Landa, right? Go ahead and hit that little link down there to bring you right to it. So better than that, when you start to make your first deposit, you'll actually get a bonus from Landa as well as I'll get a bonus too for teaching you how to do all of this stuff. Yay, because YouTube doesn't pay me. Uh, but uh, even better than that, we're going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial here to show you exactly how to start making money every single month and how to reinvest that money more so. So uh, if you're new to the channel here, we do have some other videos on Landa and some of the other you know things that you can do on there. This video is specifically going to be about Landa because their minimum to deposit is a massive five dollars. So if you got five dollars, you can actually start investing on Lambda, which is fantastic. I mean, there's nothing better than that at all. So, um, like I said, you know, right now the average is about three and a half cents a share for every, you know, four to four and a half dollars you have invested, depending on the properties that you own. We'll get into that here uh, in step two. So step one, download the application. So step two is coming right now. So let's say for instance that you're starting off with $100 to invest. That's all the money you've got right now, which is fair. That's pretty average considering, I think the statistics are one in three, as sitting at a pretty close to a zero balance in their bank account right now. Believe me, I've got enough phone calls for people who have a zero balance. That means losing their job or losing their income, they'd be bankrupt the following month. That's crazy to me. And all because they made this one simple mistake. They're working for money, and money is not working for them. So, and I get everyone goes, you know, you have to have hundreds of thousands of dollars to invest in the stock markets. And in order to make money on money, you have to have money. And that's partially true, especially if you never start, right? You have to start somewhere. So generally the first, you know, few years or even the first 10 years, your gains are pretty small. And like they're... They're not, a, not what, you're, what you're thinking, right? So we've gone through some of the properties here and we'll, we'll notice one pretty important thing. An average return on one of the properties, let's say a tenant stays there 12 months out of the year, we're not including equity growth on the shares, none of that at all. So we're not including the fact that you bought the share at $4 and you know 10 years later the property went from $100,000 to $200,000 and now that property is worth even more. We're not including that at all. We're not including that extra equity for the purpose of this video. That is just bonus. In fact, you'll probably double your investment over you know, uh, 10, 20, 30 years anyways. I mean, think of it this way, a house is back in, you know, the 60s and 70s, you could buy a brand new place for about forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 and the place is pristine. Now you're lucky to get a place for two, three hundred thousand dollars $300,000, depending on where you are. I get that this video is not just nationwide, but worldwide, but we're talking US dollars here. So. We'll just assume that we have $100 to invest. Past that, we'll say, just for the sake of easy numbers, because I like easy math, that we have $50 a month that we're gonna take out of our paychecks, which isn't a lot, mind you, it's not a lot at all, and we're going to invest that as well. So we'll, we'll have that compound interest, and we're also gonna have that extra $50 on top of that, right? So it kind of starts off like this, right? So if we assume that we'll make 9%, on our four dollar investment as the numbers sit right now and again rent's only going to go up equity's only going to go up we're just going to assume that you're making three cents for forever right now it's going to be more than that as time goes on but for the sake of making things easy we'll just assume it to be three cents or in this case nine percent so uh so we have the nine percent right so that's what we're going to gain every single month best part about Landa is that that's going to compound monthly as long as you're reinvesting what you're making every single month into more and more shares. So let's say, you know, on the $100 you have invested, you make 70 cents, it takes you, you know, another five, six months, and you buy another share, and that one's giving you three cents. That's kind of how it works. But better than that, we'll just use these basic numbers to make things nice and easy here, right? So year one, at the end of year one, you put that $100 in there, you've got the $50 a month. So your total contributions to your uh, Landa account, right? We're just talking about Landa, nothing else. You've given them $700. In return, just talking dividends here, just talking your rental income, your total value is $734 and 76 cents. The following year, you've given them a total of 
your value is fourteen hundred dollars twenty nine cents, or you know, a, a profit of one hundred dollars twenty nine, one hundred twenty nine dollars and six cents, right? So, in the grand scheme of things, if you're thinking like, ah, oh, you know, twelve hundred bucks, I made a hundred bucks on it. Yeah, it's chump change, right? But that's the magic of the compound interest. It's only going to get more and more and more and more and more as long as you're reinvesting your gains. Right, and fifty dollars isn't a lot of money. In two years, thirteen hundred bucks. I mean, that's like what three car payments? At least it is for me. So it's those uh, those cars get uh, get expensive. Let's kind of jump ahead here. Let's go to year ten. Year ten, right? You've invested six thousand one hundred dollars. Right, your total portfolio portfolio value ten years from now, not including equity gains, not including anything else, just reinvested. You're worth $9,920.85, right? So over, you know, over a $3,000 gain, almost a $4,000 gain, right, in 10 years, which, if you think about it, it's a long time for four grand. Keep in mind, you're not investing that much money yet. So, uh, you know, $50 is a chump change. When we start to make more money, you know, when we move things forward in life, we could put more money towards these investments and potentially make more money. But for the sake of easy numbers, I like to keep things simple. Let's jump ahead to year 15. At this point, you have deposited, you've given them $9,100 of your own money. It's taken you 15 years to give them this much money, but that's how much money you've given them, right? Better than that, you're getting out of it, right? Your portfolio value 15 years later, just again, dividends, no equity, $19,304 and nine cents. And that's, and this is the cool part that I'm saying, that's stating that the property share values, the rent hasn't gone up in 15 years, 15 years we're talking, your equity hasn't changed, the housing market's been flat for 15 years. You've more than doubled your money on your investment in 15 years. Obviously, if we look at the numbers, it's more than likely going to be more than that 15 years from now, right? And we're talking like you're religious about reinvesting these dividends. That's that's how we've come up with, with these numbers here. So now let, let's jump ahead to year 20. You've, been, you've given them $12,100. That's what you've given them. You're making what your, what your value is in Landa is $33,995.26. You've nearly tripled your money going into you know what you put in versus what you've taken out. And you haven't taken any money out because this is your nest egg. You're saving this for later when you retire. Maybe you're gonna buy a cruise ship. Right? I'm hoping you're putting a little bit more money into your nest egg than $50 a month, and we'll talk about why in a little bit. Uh, but let's talk about year 30. Right, because that's that's the important number. You've given them eighteen thousand dollars, one hundred dollars, or the price of a pretty cheap car nowadays. So that's what you've given them in thirty years of investing. Right, you're expected to have a value of ninety three thousand ten ninety three thousand ten dollars and twenty three cents. That's a lot of money. That's a that's a pretty big change in between what you have invested versus what you put into it. Now, 30 years, that's and generally the people who are watching this video, that it's the amount of time you're going to have something in there. Right? I'm hoping you're putting more than $50 in every month, right? As soon as you start to see this grow, I'm hoping that you go, oh, yeah, I don't need that Starbucks coffee. Yeah, no, you're right. Maybe I don't need the most expensive car. Maybe I can go with something a little less expensive. So maybe when I retire, I can buy that Corvette I've always wanted. I love Corvettes. So yell at me in the comments. I love Vipers and Porsches and everything else too, but I've always had a passion for a brand new Corvette. My wife will never let me have one unless I make millions. So, yay YouTube. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Just for just for giggles, right? And most of us aren't investing this long. Let's go to year 50, right? So if you're doing everything you should be doing, right? Maybe you set up a trust for your kids or their kids after that. Year 50, you've invested $30,000 I'm sorry, $30,100, exactly. That's how much money you have given Landa. That's that's it, that's how much money you've given them, right? Your portfolio value for that small amount of money is $592,000, I'm just gonna start rounding these out. I don't like saying these numbers anymore. <laughs> They're just getting too big, right? Let's go to year 60. 
Year 60, you've given them just over $36,000, $36,100, right? You're projected to have $1,461,000, right? On, on $36,000. I mean, that's like investing in Netflix, like before Netflix was Netflix, right? And nobody's doing that, right? You're, you're not winning the lottery every time you look at a stock. Maybe some of you are, and more power to you. Maybe you got in on Amazon, went back when it was super cheap, but nobody's doing that over and over and over again. And here's what's important. This is how a lot of people look at investments. They look and go, okay, you're gonna retire at 65, you're more than likely gonna be dead at 85, so you're gonna take a certain amount of money out of your out of your retirement every single year, let's say it's 5% until it's basically gone. Right now you're 85 and you have no money to live on because you've used it all and you have, like, have nothing or what is seriously happening to a lot of people right now is they're retiring with nothing. They've saved nothing, they're relying on Social Security, which for my generation and my future generations, more than likely isn't going to be there, right? But you have more health problems when you're older. We're always relying on everybody else. Personally, for me, I want to look at it, you know, having this investment of hundred of over a million dollars and, and looking at what I'm planning on making every year, which as I'm looking at it here is about $140,000. You can't live on $140,000 a year. You shouldn't be doing really anything. That's a ton of money, $140,000 a year, but it doesn't stop there. You could invest more when you're young, work on that compound interest, and bam, have millions of dollars to play with when you're older. But it's all about how you do things when you're younger. Maybe don't buy the $400,000 house. Maybe don't go to the top of your top market on uh, what you can actually buy. Maybe you don't need that brand new car, right? Maybe it's a nice thing to have, but maybe you should scale back a little bit, maybe put a little bit more money towards your next day. We're talking about a $50 investment. And keep in mind, we're at year 60 right now, but let's let's be real, more, more realistic right now. Right now you're $100, great. Let's, let's talk a monthly contribution here of $300, right? It's a pretty big jump. But it's, it's not unnecessary or, or ridiculous. I mean, it's, it's a lot of money. Uh, but at the end of the day, that money is going to your nest. Egg. That's the money you're gonna live off when you're older so you're not worrying about, you know, being 75 and out of money or 85 and completely out of money. In this generation, we could live to 110, 120. We don't know what the future holds. They're growing hearts, livers, kidneys in test tubes now. You don't know what's, what's coming in the future. So it makes absolutely no sense for you not to have a nest egg on uh, money that you're going to retire on in the future, right? Like the way that I like to think of it is, like for, for me personally, I'm a soda drinker. That's why I'm more of a heavy set guy. I stopped drinking soda. I've invested that money that I would usually spend on soda into my own nest egg. That's how I've looked at it. I got a raise at my nine to five job. I've taken that raise and I put it into my investment account, right? And I don't just invest on land. I've got, you know, stocks that are kind of, you know, all over the place, which we'll talk about in other videos. But this is a really cool brand new application that I really want the individual investors, especially the newer investors to get on board with. I wouldn't say put all of your money in one basket by any means, that I'm not a financial expert and don't claim to be by any means. But my point of this video is to show you how you can take $100 a monthly investment and turn it into a nest egg at the end of the video. So now we're gonna look at $100, right? With, that's the original investment, which again, isn't much, and $300 a month into it, or whatever feels comfortable for you. We're just gonna go with $300 and, you know, just because I think that's doable for a lot of people. Maybe not now, but as you start to earn more money, right, maybe don't take that money and immediately go buy that brand new car, maybe put it in your nest egg so you can have the better cars later on. Maybe you'll need the iPhone 11 with the three camera lens right now, or uh, the Samsung flip phone, that's $3,000 phone. Maybe you don't need these things right now. Maybe you could put these things into your nest egg so you can have really cool things later on when all of your oldie friends in the nursing home are going, well, I can't afford nothing, and you're sitting there buying dinner all the time because you're the only one that has any money. 
makes you feel pretty good. So uh, that being said, here we're just gonna we're gonna kind of speed through some of these numbers here. Year one, you know, you put thirty-seven thousand dollars into it. That's three hundred dollars a month plus a hundred dollar investment. You're looking at you know three thousand eight hundred and sixty-one dollars. Year 10, you put $36,000 into it, you're getting out $58,299. And I'm just going to jump by 10 years here. We'll go to year 20, you put in $72,100, you're getting out $200,000, $966. Year 30, right, and this is when the numbers really start to jump here, right? And this is, you know, when you're planning on taking retirement here, we're looking at, you put in $108,000 over the course of, 30 years, right? You're you're expected to have $550,000 in your account. And that's again, I just want to drive this one home. I know it sound like a broken record here. That's not including equity growth. That's not including uh, the rents going up in price. You bought a share for four dollars and it's three cents for forever. More than likely, rent goes up, right? If it's eight fifty now, you know, ten years from late, ten years later, it's probably closer to twelve fifty. And ten years past that, it's probably closer to fifteen fifty. But you bought it for four four dollars, right? You're making more money on that individual share. Now we're not we're not talking about that. We're just talking about. If it stayed the exact same for 30 years, which obviously it won't, so uh, so all hypothetical numbers. But 30 years, you've invested 108, and you've got 550 thousand dollars in it. Let's say you retired right there. That's all the money you've ever put into anything, right? You just put it into land like a crazy person, right? You're you're expected every single year to get about 56 thousand dollars on a $500,000 investment. That's the money you have to live off of every single year. That's not including Social Security, which may or may not exist. That's just from your investment. So that's the money you have to live off of every single year moving forward. And more than likely, 30 years from now, that's gonna be quite a bit more. I would expect rent to have doubled in 30 years. And 30 years ago, I think we could have bought a pot for a nickel. And I'm not that old, so. <laughs> Uh, just for just for fun, for 40 years, you put in 144,000. You got 1. Uh, 1, 1, 1. 1.4 million out of that. So 50 years, you got 180,000 dollars invested. You got three and a half million dollars. 60 years, 216,000 dollars invested, which is not a lot of money if you really think about how much money you're going to make over your lifetime, right? And you've got over. <laughs> 8.6 million dollars and just for fun we'll go to year 100 right when you've invested three hundred and sixty thousand dollars into your nest egg a hundred years later which you know you never know might still, still be around that your net worth and your just your landed account but three hundred dollars a month which you know 20 years from now three hundred dollars probably isn't a whole lot of money we're looking at three hundred and fourteen million dollars, which is just a ton of money. Like I really want to drive that home. Three hundred and fourteen million dollars on a three hundred and sixty thousand dollar investment. Of course, this is a hundred years, right? But regardless, you can you can do these numbers all day long. And I'll put uh, I'll put a link in the description here where you guys can actually plug in you know your starting number, how much you're willing to put in monthly. Uh, into that into that retirement fund with Landa uh, as well and, and the individual properties. You guys can actually see it. But like I said, step one was to download the Landa application. Step two is to make your first deposit. And like I said, if you click that link down at the bottom there, they're going to give you 10 bucks just when you put in, put in your first deposit. Then you give me 10 bucks for fun. Yay. That's what I'm just going to put towards my nest egg here as well. Um, there's an entire group and dedicated on Facebook to helping brand new investors through Landa, which is why personally I, I personally believe for newer investors and even accredited investors, it's a very cool place uh, to be, especially if you're learning about the new properties uh, on there as well. I, at this point, I wouldn't be dumping hundreds of thousands of dollars into the application if you're that kind of investor going, wow, 9% returns. It's, it's, it's pretty good. So um, the next video here that we're going to be we're going to be talking about here. So if you go to my channel, it's going to be on how leverage works with Landa. And 
why it could make or break you as an investor. So if you've liked this video and you've liked some of the things we've talked about, uh, I want you to go ahead and, and see if you can find the other video and watch that one as well. And you know, like I said, like and subscribe, all that good stuff. We're going to be doing this all the time. I'll be posting pictures and videos of of uh, my personal Landa account and when we start doing the other investment accounts I'll be doing a lot of that stuff too so if you like what you saw here don't forget to like and subscribe leave a comment down below right I want to know how much money you're gonna start investing here today I want to see that down at the bottom maybe it's a dollar I think you gotta start with five maybe it's just five dollars you only got five dollars you didn't go to Starbucks today you missed Starbucks for the first time I get it so um, but yeah, this is Delightful Dave, sign it off, you get to watch my brand new outro, it's the same as the intro because we're lazy over here, and I'm sorry that the editing was awful, I'm not a good video editor, if you know one, in the comments, so, bye bye